Hey guys, welcome back to this band of video. Today we're showing you the best settings for OBS 2021. So I'm gonna jump right in. Um, there are a couple of buttons here. You start with the start streaming. Uh, this is obviously for streaming. Uh, then you have the start recording, which I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I'm recording right now. Uh, then you have a new option, which is the virtual camera. This allows you to actually use uh, OBS as a video source. For example, for Zoom, if you want to use it for a Zoom session. This is the preview mode, studio mode. And then you have the settings, which I'll get to in a second. Then here you have actually displays now. now I only have one display. So this is display one. It's my 24 inch screen. Um, then you can add filters if you want to. But you have some extra details and properties here which are really nice. Um, here is where you start the scene. So you add the scene like I did here. Then you do a display capture, what I'm doing right now because I want to make a capture of my whole screen here. Uh, but you can also add a video game capture if you want to by doing right click. Art, and then for example and then you do for example game capture I'm doing display capture right now as I said but you can also do game capture or even other options you can see for example all of the uh, audio channels that you have I have my desktop audio which is basically when I click something in Windows you hear it but you also have my microphone here which is you can see it as I'm talking you can see it right here anyway I'm gonna go over here to the settings to show you more in detail all right as you can see here in the general tab we have a couple of options here like the language I prefer English theme dark um, then you have a couple of other options here they're not really important some of them you can copy them there are some preferences if you want to um, but then we can go over to the output here because we're not doing streaming we're just going to do here output and do recording okay well right here you could choose uh, i would advise you to use output mode advanced that's preferably better uh, type standard it's also something that i would advise you to use recording path that is something personal uh, i like to put it on my d disk and then in a folder that i made which it's called obs recordings that is something that's a preference for me i made that folder so now the recording path you go to browse and you select the folder you wanted to save in recording format mp4 i definitely advise you to use mp4 as well as it's the most read video file in a lot of programs so there are a lot of programs that will read uh, video different video files but MP4 is definitely the one that's most read by most uh, software. Audio tracks, I use two as I said. One is for uh, my desktop audio, Windows sounds and everything. Two is gonna be my microphone. As a coder, I don't have a graphics card, so I use the INIC 264, which is a built-in one option in my laptop. Um, so, but if you have, for example, an NVIDIA or something like that, definitely you choose the NVIDIA, that's way better. Uh, rescale outputs, it's just gonna do the size that I want to record in, which is gonna be 920 by 1080. I said this before, um, it's every YouTube video on YouTube right now and every thumbnail, be sure it's on 920,080. Down the rate control, I like to put it on CBR with a bitrate of 50,000. Preference, as again, but you can also just copy that. I think it's a pretty good option. CPU, be sure it's on ultra fast, um, always, because the more faster it is, the better it will be. It actually says here, higher is less CPU. And you want says less CPU, obviously. And the profile high might put on medium if you want to. Depends on your computer, but mine, it works really good on high. Then we can go to this audio tab here. Um, I just put everything on 320. There's nothing really too crazy to put here. Obviously, I only use the first two tracks. Um, put them to, to 320. You can do that as well, um, but you can also change up. But I think 320 is more than enough. It's, it's good, you know, you don't really need anything more than that. Um, then I'm going to move on to the actual audio tab. A sample rate, I prefer the 48. Uh, channels on stereo uh, and here as you can see the desktop audio is my speakers and then we have the voice uh, meter which is something that i use as software for my voice but this is basically my desktop audio the speakers and this is going to be my microphone but i use the software as i said in another video of mine and i use the software to make my voice better so that's what i have here and um for the rest here this is not too important as well you can just copy that if you want to now i'm going to go over to another pretty important tab which is going to be the video tab uh, 920 by 1080 as I said just do both of them um, the downscale I will do uh, the uh, lenses sharpened scaling 36 samples I use this one always and I think it's the best option once again for my computer but probably also for yours and I definitely advise you to use 60 fps uh, because everything at least these days is 60 fps hotkeys is a preference if you want to start uh, streaming or start recording with a specific key you can do that here it's always useful uh, but I don't really like it so in advanced here with process uh, priority i put it at high direct 3d is the good option here color format nv12 i used to put this at half uh, which is not good so be sure that this is 7 9 on full same here not really anything too much to go in detail about you can once again uh, look at that if you want to uh, copy those settings but then i'm done for my tab here but yeah that was about that um some of the best settings you can do in uh, obs 2021 in any case i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like would be really nice subscribe would also be really nice and i hope to see you guys in my next video